my name's Alex Gerva um, and I've been at Alphabetical just over a year. I'm Chris Talbot and I've been working at Alphabetical for about two years. Yeah, I kind of moved over here as a senior designer and began freelancing. Um, I then found these guys and really thought that the work that they did was quite great, so I kind of pitched them a line and they got me involved and yeah, been here since. Um, well, I graduated probably about 10, 11 years ago, so, um, and I was really, really lucky. I managed to get a job um, at Hattrick and I was there for about five, six years. Um, which gave me a fantastic start um, and then I went off to freelance um, for a couple of years and then I managed to, I've been ironing these guys up for a while um, and I'm really lucky that I managed to get in here about a year ago, freelance for a couple of months and now full time. Yeah, I think for me, Personally, I was quite unsure just moving here, not knowing many people in the industry and not, not studying here, so I didn't have many contacts. So for me, it was quite an organic process, not sure about whether freelance would suit me or um, a more permanent role. But I think gradually I, I sort of felt that a studio of this size and of this creative work was kind of the, what I was looking for. I think to me, as soon as I went freelance, I knew that I just wanted to see how different design agencies worked. Um, because I'd been for such a long time at Hattrick, but um, Alphabetical had such a fantastic reputation and I quite early on knew that I wanted to come in here, so it just ended up working really well. I think we're, we're quite lucky in the sense that we, we're not doing just one thing all the time. We get to do everything from environmental design to branding to websites, print, everything. Yeah. And it's the best way. You don't get stuck stuck doing one thing all the time. So yeah. I think that's one of the, the pros of working at a smaller studio is you get you quite hands on with a lot of different projects um, and different stages in the project. Um, so even just handling production and things like that. So you become um, quite immersed in it all. I think there's something that I absolutely love is working through from concepts to development to um, getting it out of the door and yeah, you definitely. take great pride in making sure that every stage is as good as it possibly can be and yeah, it's very rewarding and it just doesn't get taken off to you to art workers and stuff so yeah, it's nice to be able to look after everything about project. Yeah absolutely, I think you don't get that at a lot of maybe larger agencies. That's what's quite rewarding about it, being alphabetical. But I could vary on, on projects, but I suppose you you do kind of, you always go to the, yeah, straight to the paper and you just start writing down, you just start looking exactly what the brief is, outlining it, maybe rewriting it, just trying to find exactly like a different angle to approach it. Um, yeah. I think there's a quite big thing about people straight away jump on blogs but just sticking with that blank piece of paper for, for a day or more um, is quite crucial to me at least because if you're just thinking about the ideas it doesn't matter what it looks like yet. Yeah I think it's quite, I suppose a lot of people find it maybe quite daunting when you start off just this like blank piece of paper staring at you but if you just start getting things down and just keep pushing through something, something comes up. It's important that you sort of have your own time to swim around an idea for a bit and not be too um, swayed about other, other opinions too early on. I think. Mm -hmm. My sketching's not great, but um, if yeah. The idea's if there. the idea's there, if, if, if you can see it in that little sketch, then, then it's ace, it's a winner. Yeah. They asked to, um, us to design a resource that's meant to be for young people that are about to go through to heart surgery. So it's a very sensitive subject matter um, that you have to try and tackle. You have to try and stay through for what ha what's actually going to happen to them, but um, without being trying to scare them. Um, so it's it's quite a hard, hard brief, um, but it's a lovely thing to work on. 
I suppose the key thing about this whole resource is that um, it takes the young people through every single stage of this whole journey that they're about to face. So there's a lot of preparation work before they go into the um, operation. It's taking them during, it talks about obviously the day of the operation and then after what, what to expect. So I think that was quite a big, um, big thing for us to focus on, that it's it's this complete guide. Um, um, and we weren't really quite sure at all what they were after. Um, but yeah, just meeting the young people, hearing them, having it all laid out in front of them, and then putting little stickers and post-its and writing on what they liked, what they didn't like, um, was a really big part of the whole project um, mm. that led to the final final piece. I, I think the key key thing to me is just having that stage when you actually listen to the end user um, and I should try and being able to do that more often would be really great. Um, sometimes you just <coughs> don't get the opportunity to do that. But. Um, so it's for LCF London College of Fashion and it was for their management and business course so it's not per se fashion led and our task was to create an identity um, and exhibition um, uh, plinths for for the college to showcase the students work um, but at the same time it it couldn't be it sort of had to make their work shine in a way and, and highlight um, the course itself from that we um, developed a pattern like um, texture which we applied through um, animations um, printed collateral and um, and these these structures which each structure was for an individual course it's probably the sourcing of, of materials the, the production side of that job was was quite uh, yeah t consumed loads of hours um, just to contracting contractors, to um, sourcing materials, um, to collating all the students' work and then sort of developing that, designing that and um, taking that through to production it was, it was immense. All the time. Um. <laughs> Yeah. I, th I think I come Don't quite often like, oh, this is amazing, this is the best uh, thing ever. And quite quickly you realise that, oh, maybe it isn't so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't like to admit it, but it's more, more so than not.